um, that we've been looking at in, in the lectures. So the noise node in itself, as you can see here, is inherited from MPX node. We create our own noise node um, class here. And what that's going to do is an instantiate an instance of the um, noise class, which is basically doing Perlin noise, and there's a few other um, features that we can use on it. And the first thing we need to do is to ensure that the nose itself is built, and we then need to load it into Maya. So the simplest way is to use the plugin manager itself. We um, browse to the directory um, where it is, and you'll notice here that it's noise node dot bundle because I'm using a Mac. Um, Macs use these bundles, which are sort of bundles of code and library together. Under Linux you'll just have noise node.so which is a shared object library. So if we open that and you'll see that it's come up in the other registered plugins bit at the bottom. We can click on info and you can see that we've got the info that we've put in earlier on. So with that in place we can go and create our noise node. Um, we've got two options of doing this. We can either do it using mail or Python. So to do it using Mal, we would um, use the create node and type in the name of the node we want to create, and that would create our node. Alternatively, in Python, we need to use the Maya commands um, module. We need to get that in. So to do that, we have to type first import Maya commands as cmds, which is a shortcut for it. Um, and I'll just copy that, save a bit of typing, and then we can say commands.create node, and we then just need to use our um, quotes and say the name of the um, object we want to create. And if I can click on that, we should see that we now have a new noise node created here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a simple scene that's going to have a um, let's just click into the top view a curve. We're then going to attach to that curve the uh, locator, and then we are going to use the locator to feed into the noise node, and then we're going to add that to another object. So the first thing we're going to do is create a very simple curve like that and I'm going to create a locator so let's just create a locator um, which is here and then finally I'm just going to increase this frame range so we've got a decent sort of amount of um, frames to go to and to attach this to the path, select both objects, we go to the animation um, menu and we go animation, motion paths, attach to motion path. Um, what we should now have is a object connected to our curve and you can see the locator just travels around following the curve that we've created. So the next thing I'm going to do is to attach this locator to our custom noise node. And to do this, we need to connect attributes. And again, there's, there's two ways of doing it. In Mel, we would just type connect a ATTR, connect attribute. And we're going to connect locator1.tx to noise node onetx that's basically taking the translate hex position of the locator and connecting it to the input of our noise node. And you can see that that's been connected um, in the output there. In Python, very similar, commands dot connect a t t r, um, and now we just need to put in quotes the attributes we wish to connect. So again, locator1.ty and we're going to connect it to noise node onetyy and if I just copy that, I can do the same for the Z. And that's done there. 
And if we now look in the hypergraph connections, we should be able to see now that we've got our locator here, which is connected to the motion path, and we've got our noise node here, which takes the outputs of those three, TX, TY and TZ, going into our noise node. So what we're going to do next is we're going to create a sphere, so a polygon primitives sphere, and it should have created myself a nice simple sphere there. And what I want to do is to use the expression editor to create a new expression for this sphere's translate x, y, and z. So if we right mouse click on create new expression, and we've got p sphere 1, translate x. If we go into the expression editor, and again to save typing, I'm just going to copy this. So we're saying p sphere 1.translate x equals the locator's translate x plus the output of our noise node. So if we just take that, put that in here, and click on create, that's going to create the expression. We now see that the x position has changed. Now we do the same for the y, just changing the parameters so that it reflects the y. And click on create, and we'll do the same for z. So I'll paste that in, change that to z, and change that to z there, and click on create. If we now run the simulation, we should see that we've got some sort of jiggling on the motion path. We can see that the um, object is moving around. And there we go, jumping up and down around on the, the motion path. So that has worked um, quite successfully, I think. Um, if we select the sphere, we should now be able to um, view the noise node and see the different elements. If I change to turbulence, what that's going to do is add some different harmonics to the um, the node itself and that will then allow us to go into different directions. So, ah, and now mine's crashed. Brilliant. Anyway, that's the example for now. I will uh, show you another example a bit later.